night, I'ma do you right. Welcome you all to BJ Studio. This is Bharat here from BJ Studio. So today's class is all about. Again, the basic series. Um, the last class was all about the basics of, of MCSA and MCSE with respect to certification. So today's class will all will be all about the history of servers. So MCSA and MCSE, when we say it, delves with only two things. One is 2012 Windows Server 2012. The other one is Windows Server 2009 uh, 16. So. Uh, that's okay uh, if we concentrate on 12 and 16 is okay but you should get stronger in the basics you should know what is the history how it started how the microsoft started their server what was their first server and a little bit of history if you know that that is when you will be able to understand the concepts better and clearer so let's get into the history of the servers today so microsoft started their uh, server with windows nt 3.5 so just a simple question with you guys uh, what is nt if you know what is nt go ahead and comment in the comment section if you don't don't worry at the end of the series i'm sure i'll let you know what it is okay so if you know that go ahead and comment in the comment section so the first uh, version of windows server by microsoft is windows nt 3.5 so which was released in the year of 1994 uh, in the month of September 20, which is like two years after my birth. <laughs> uh, so the second series of Windows Server 2000, Windows Server is Windows NT 3.51, which was released in the month of 1995. Uh, I'm sorry, in the year of 1995 and in the month of May 29. And the third series of Windows Server is Windows NT 4.0, which was released in the year of 1996. In the month of July 29. See, uh, see the order. They, they are giving um, ample amount of time to digest the concepts, to understand the concepts, to know how they are working. And they are giving ample amount of time. That is a kind of business and marketing strategy. <laughs> okay, that's to totally altogether a different subject now. <laughs> okay, when they entered into Windows NT 4.0, they started adding flavors to the service. So the first, uh, they have added three flavors to the servers. The first uh, uh, flavor of the Windows NT 4.0 is Server Enterprise. The second one is Ent Terminal Server Edition. And the last one is Windows NT 4.0 Server. See, why they have added flavors? What is the importance of flavors? Uh, um, rather, someone say edition. So what is the importance? What Why they do add this? You'll come to know in the later part of the videos. Uh, we have a session in MCSE, we have a class in MCSE that has licensing or certification, Some, something related to licensing and certification. So when we go through that, I'll clearly explain you why they have added licensing, what is the importance of licensing and why they have made it in separate editions. Got it? That's a pure marketing strategy or a business strategy. Let's get into the fourth edition of Windows Server, uh, Microsoft Windows Server is Windows uh, Windows 2000, which was released in the year of 2000 in the month of February 17. See, uh, after which you can visibly or evident, there is an evidence that <laughs> every version of the servers will, will be released in their particular year. Okay, got it. When you go through the next servers list, you'll come to know what it is. So when it comes to Windows 2000, they have listed three three flavors or three editions to it, which is Windows 2000 Server, Windows 2000 Advanced Server, and Windows 2000 Data Center. Got it? So you, if you notice clearly, the coining system, the naming system, they have not mentioned server anywhere. Got it? They just mentioned Windows, 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 Windows. No server here. After this, they started coining it as server. So the fifth edition is Windows Server 2003, which was released in the year of 2003, in the month of April 24. Here they have uh, five different editions, okay, out of which three is constant, we are still using, and two is like, it is not so popular. So what are those? The first one, Windows Server 2003, is Windows 
small business server 2003 windows server 2003 web edition windows server 2003 standard edition windows server 2003 enterprise edition windows server 2003 data center edition that's it i'll tell you little thing about it small business server is maximally used in cafe cafe where internet cafe those days now everyone has mobile everyone has their internet so they can go ahead and use it anywhere and anytime but those days cafe were the very powerful uh, place to surf and get the details so small uh, business server 2003 were popularly used in cafe that's popular to this and uh, this is used for web process webbing uh, online developments and those things and all standard edition is a normal edition which we can use it as a normal member which comparatively price is very less with when we compare with the other editions enterprise editions which widely used in corporates data center this will be used in corporates only got <laughs> it so i'll clearly explain you when we come to the concept that is licensing okay the sixth edition when it comes to windows server is windows server 2003 r2 the another question for you if you know what is r2 go ahead and comment in the comment section great if you know nt and r2 go ahead and comment in the comment section if you don't don't feel at the end of the video i'll surely share you what it is so the sixth edition as i said it is windows server 2003 r2 which was released in the year of 2005 in the month of december 2006 i'm sorry in the month of december 6 see it is the same flavor and edition in windows 3 but one thing which they have added is windows computer cluster server 2003 So from here they have started adding cluster concepts into server. Got it? What is clustering? How what it works? How it works? Will come in the later. Uh, it will come in the later parts of the classes, in the videos. Great. Hi. The seventh edition of Windows Server is Windows Server two thousand eight, which was released in the year of two thousand eight in the month of February twenty seven. Got it? So they had a bunch of uh, editions. Okay, bunch of editions. Let's go through one by one. standard windows server 2008 standard windows server 2008 enterprise windows server 2008 data center windows server foundation 20 uh, 2008 windows essential business server 2008 windows hp c server 2008 windows small business server 2008 windows storage server 2008 windows web server 2008 got it so normally till now we are using three things which is standard enterprise and data center the rest of the thing is eradicated which is not so popular now we are not using it often got it so everything had its own uh, features when they have released it now we are getting it in almost uh, in this three versions or so got it so the seventh version edition or seventh version of this windows server is windows server 2008 r2 which was released in the year of 2009 in the month of october 22 so it is the same same set of service same set of editions no difference in it but the version has changed that's it it is it is not an r2 it's an r2 just a simple thing that's it let's get into the eighth i'm sorry ninth version of microsoft windows server is windows server 2012 which was released in the year of 2012 in the month of september Good. So see here, it is also this uh, set of standard sets of ed uh, editions. So the first one is Windows Server 2012 Foundation. The other one is Windows 2012 Essential. The other one is Windows Server 2012 Standard. The other one is Windows Server 2012 Data Center. And this is not so popular, but they used it at the time of uh, release. So it is Windows Multi Point Server 2012. Got it. So these are all the standard things which we use it normally even, but this one is eradicated. This is used for multitasking kind of processes. Okay, great. So let's get into the tenth version of Microsoft Service. The tenth version is Windows Server 2012 R2. They have released in the year of 2013 in the month of October 17. So the same set of standard editions, but the multi-point service has been removed from here. Got it. And the eleventh version is Windows Server two thousand sixteen, which was released in the year of two thousand sixteen in the month of October twelve. See, they have only three flavors here, which is Windows Server two thousand sixteen Essential, Windows Server two thousand sixteen Standard, and Windows Server two thousand sixteen Data Center. 
see i'll tell you where they will use these things data center is purely purely corporate because it has lots of licensing uh, things capacity so that they can use it worldwide data standard is a normal version which often we can also use and home users can also use it and it's very cheaper too essential is a similar kind of data center the licensing is more than standard right let's get into the final one which is the 12th uh, version of windows server 10, 2019 so windows server 2019 was released in the year of 2018 in the month of november 13 so they do had um, only three standard versions which is windows server 2019 essential windows server 2019 standard and windows server 2019 data center see guys uh, as i said before i'll completely explain why they have added additions to every server what is the use of it and what is the functions of it everything will be detailedly explained in a separate concept that is licensing and certification so don't worry uh, today's motto or agenda was just to go through what is the start of the server microsoft servers and what is now the current thing which is going on in microsoft servers got it okay so one more thing which i want to let you is after 2012 there is nothing said as 64-bit operating system and 34-bit operating system they have removed 64-bit concept only we have 34-bit that is for someone and uh, then they'll tell uh, they, um, it is said as 32-bit but we can see uh, cross 68 86 nice 86 cross 86 is 32-bit only okay so cross 86 is 32-bit cross 64 is 64-bit got it so yeah this question must be often asked uh, with me and I do explain them <laughs> in a simpler way great so this is a smaller difference here uh, don't get confused when you are going through uh, 2016 and 2019 comparative to 2012 they had two versions and here it is not having two versions that's a simple one <laughs> and there are little little more in, uh, concepts which has been added to 2019 and 2016 which is not available in 2012 that's the reason I said the certification has been also changed. So those concepts which were missing in 2012, but it is added in 2016 and 19, I'll make a separate videos for that. Got it? More or less, it is similar kind of concepts, but little, little small, small uh, things which is add on features which is missing in 2016. I'll make a separate video for that. And after which I just went through an article from Microsoft and they are saying that um, uh, after 2019 whatever the service they are going to release it will be little what to say highly secure more secure than 2019 is what they are saying and they are going to have a joint venture with unix they are going to partner with unix and they, they are going to merge with uh, merge unix servers with microsoft service and make a different kind of flavor and I'm, I'm expecting for that and if that is the one which is getting into the market then fingers crossed you have to learn lots of uh, powershell codings <laughs> that is when you'll be able to sustain or you'll be able to um, perform the operations in servers got it fine i hope if you have known what is meant by nt and r2 you should have been commented by now if you not please go ahead and comment <laughs> we are at the end of the session guys so to this uh, as a su simple summary i'm just letting you know what we have uh, done in the class so today's class was all about the basics of ncsa and ncsa in terms of the history of service history of in particular microsoft service so they have started from nt now it is the latest version is windows server 2019 but the certification is available for only 2012 and 2016 great guys thank you for watching me for a long time now <laughs> and yeah yeah i'm not going yes nt is new technology and r2 is revised version or second edition a second revision you can say any other way okay <laughs> so nt is new technology r2 is revised version or second edition or any which way you can say that 
<laughs> great and uh, once again thank you guys for uh, keep watching the uh, watching the video and i request you to keep go and watch keep on watching the video and if you like the content please go ahead and hit on the like button if you don't please do hit on the dislike button also <laughs> which lets me to know where i've made a mistake and i can grow further and if you feel that the content is informative and if you want to follow me please go ahead and hit on the like sub subscribe button please if you feel that it is very informative please go ahead and uh, hit on the subscribe button i'll be consistently posting the video and you will be able to get the full out of it and thanks one more once again and have a great day guys bye bye